Hi everyone, welcome back to the Bible Flicks. Today we're going to read Barbie, Girl's Best Friend from Grawlier Books, narrated by Azucena Barberas. Chapter 3 The next morning, the sun shone through Stacy's bedroom window. Stacy didn't hear Barbie come into the room and open Sandy's crate. The puppy jumped on the bed and touched Stacy's cheek with his nose. Stacy sat up in bed, wide awake. She was still tired because Sandy had kept her up most of the night crying. Good morning, Barbie said. Good morning, yawn Stacy, cuddling Sandy. Come on, boy, let's go outside first. Then we'll have breakfast. Once they were outside, Sandy knew what to do right away. Good dog, good dog, Stacy told him. The puppy wagged his tail. Stacy cleaned up the mess with a shovel. It was decided that Barbie would watch Sandy while Stacy was in school. After school, Stacy would be the one to care of Sandy. See you later, boy, Stacy called as she left for school. This afternoon, we'll start your training. Before long, Stacy and Sandy were a common sight around the neighborhood. Sandy wore a bright blue cape with Pup Partners Guide Dog Puppy printed on it. That way, he would get used to behaving when he was working, and the cape would identify Sandy as a special dog. Soon the little kids began to call him Super Dog. Stacy was so proud of him, but he was a handful. He would often run around with, when Stacy tried to put him on his leash, or he would chase after other dogs. He saw in the park, but Sandy was so lovable that it made all worthwhile. He's really a quick learner, she told Barbie several weeks later. He never jumps up on people when he meets them, and he's already most housebroken. He's going to be a great guide dog. Be sure to tell the trainers at the school, Barbie said. They'll be happy to hear it. Every two weeks, Stacy and Sandy attended obedience classes at the guide dog school. Sandy loved playing with other puppies, but even more than that, he loved learning, and so did Stacy. The teachers at Pup Partners had many tips on how to train the dogs properly. You might think it's cute when your puppy wants to sleep on the bed with you, one trainer told Stacy, but someday Sa Sandy will be big and heavy. He may have dirty paws or even fleas. Keep him in the crate for now and on a short leash. Tie to your bed when he's housebroken. He'll be happy to be near you and you'll be able to reach him if you want to pat him. Stacy nodded bashfully. Sometimes she did let Sandy on the bed. When he looked at her with those cute big eyes of his, she couldn't resist. But she promised herself to follow the trainer's advice. And to make sure Sandy was healthy, she brought him back to the school's vet once a month for a checkup. There was one part of the training that Stacy liked the most. It was when the people who had guide dogs spoke at the school. They talked about how the dogs had changed their lives. Before Oscar came into my life, I had to be taken everywhere, one man told the group. I had to rely on other people. If I wanted to go someplace, it had to be planned in advance. Now Oscar and I can just pick up and go wherever we please. Another woman talked about how her dog had saved her life. My husband and I were hiking one day in the snow. We got separated somehow, but Bailey led me safely back to our campsite. When my husband found our footprints, he told me that Bailey had guided me away from a steep cliff. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for her. Stacy began to doubt herself. Would she be able to train Sandy to perform as well as the other dogs? They had made a few mistakes already. There was the time she found him in the kitchen with his head in a bowl of frosting. Another time he barked and jumped at the cuckoo in the cuckoo clock all day. Skipper and Kelly thought he was funny, but Stacy knew better. She was firm, but not harsh with him. In time, she noticed Sandy making progress. Even the trainers at the school told her how smart Sandy was. Stacy was happy about the compliments, but it will still 
be hard to imagine her roly-poly ball of fur saving someone's life. One day, however, Barbie noticed that Stacy was unusually quiet. What's the matter, sis? Barbie asked. Look at how big Sandy's getting. I just realized that he's been with us for almost six months, Stacy said. He's growing and learning so fast. Before we know it, it will be time for him to leave us. Barbie sighed and put her arm around Stacy. It is going by fast, she agreed. But there's more for Sandy to learn. He still barks at loud noises and begs at the dinner table, Stacy added. We'll have to work on breaking that habit too. I have an idea, Barbie said. Let's see how he does in a really busy place, somewhere with noise and people and food, Stacy said. Where should we go? Is there a game going on at a school today, Barbie asked. Great idea, cried Stacy. Let's go. Together they put the leash and cape on Sandy. Then they headed for the local school. A soccer game had just started and the people in the bleachers were on their feet. The perfect place, Baby cried. Quickly the two sisters rushed over. It was a little difficult leading the puppy through all the people to their seats in the stands. Once they sat down, Stacy took off Sandy's leash and Sandy was well behaved but everyone wanted to pet him. At last, Barbie and Stacy were able to sit down. So far, so good, Stacy said. All those people crowded around him, but Sandy never lost his cool. Then the crowd rose and began cheering as the home team scored a goal. The pup merely sat there and looked around curiously, his tail wagging excitedly. Good boy, Stacy told him. Very good. Barbie praised the puppy too, but now comes the big test. She said as she handed Stacy a steaming hot dog on a roll. Stacy took a bite, keeping one eye on Sandy. He wanted to bite it too. No, Sandy, she said firmly. Sandy began to pant. Stacy almost laughed. The poor dog looked so sad. He cried softly, never taking his eyes off the hot dog. No, Stacy told him. Sandy stood up. Sit, boy, said Stacy. Then the dog sat back down and sighed. At last, Stacy finished the hot dog. Good boy, she said, giving Sandy a hug. The puppy wiggled all over with joy, licking her face for traces of the hot dog. Sometimes I think this training is as hard on me as it is on Sandy. Stacy said to Barbie, When I look in those big brown eyes, it's so hard to say no. I know, Barbie said. I was tempted to give him some of my hot dog as a reward, but then whoever gets him next will never be able to eat a meal in peace. I think you both did a great job. When the game ended, Barbie and Stacy went to congratulate the team. But to their surprise, the attention was not on the winners. It was on Sandy. He's so cute, a girl squealed. How old is he? A boy wanted to know. Can I pet him? Someone asked. You're so lucky, said the girl next to Stacy. Stacy grinned, loving all the attention and answering everyone's questions. Sandy certainly made it easy to meet people. The sister spotted Kathy across the field. Kathy, over here, shouted Stacy. Kathy ran over to them. What are you guys doing here, she asked. We're seeing how Sandy behaves in a crowd, said Barbie. And? Kathy asked. She leaned down to pet Sandy. He's doing great, she said proudly. I had no idea he'd been such a star around here. Before I know it, people will be asking him for his autograph, or should I say his paw print. The three of them laughed and began walking home. That's it for now. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.